Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Master Portal Quest with me, Nock. Today we are going to play the map pack, I'm calling it, Designed for Danger. Um, this one is on ModDB, it's also on the workshop, and I did play it way back when I first started playing Portal 2 and the Community Chambers, but I don't have, um, as a lot of things, I don't have recorded playthroughs. So, yeah, I don't know that I can remember a lot about this, but, um, yeah. We're going to jump right into it, if I can remember. It's DFD, it's one, it's intro. So we've got eight maps to play, and uh, away we go. Hope you're all well, guys. Hope you've been enjoying the content, enjoying these mods. I was just talking to my Twitch chat a moment ago before I started uh, recording for the YouTube segment, and I was saying this is actually um, mod number 33 we Initiating are playing, surprise which is three, crazy. Two, crazy, crazy, crazy. One. I made Surprise. it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they so abandoned you So we are starting off with... So very serious. Didn't we play a mod... Didn't want to see you. Didn't we play a mod the other day, or a few days ago, or sometime... Not a few days ago, the other week, and somebody said, oh, this is taken from Design for Danger, actually. Um, obviously, we know this puzzle quite well. So, yep, away we go with Design for Danger. And of course, what's going to happen here is something is going to deviate from the original plan here. And away we go. But welcome along, everybody. Hope everybody is all well today. Hope you've uh, been having a great day, month, week. What's going on? There we, we go. Turned off. Oh, no. I think this panel opens up here. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Adventure, go on. I've cut her power. You didn't play the last two, Mika? Okay. But yeah, I do actually recognise the... Um, I can't remember which one it was now, but yeah, it is literally... I was. Oh, it was Pusher, wasn't it? It was Pusher. Just literally ripped this whole thing and used it. Adventures this way. Rick's test. Isn't Rick the adventure core? I think he is, isn't he? Again, I'm not 100% up there with Portal Law. Adventure or non-adventure? I don't want the adventure. Too scared. Rick's cowardly corner of cowards. Reserved for space sphere and fact sphere. Because apparently they're cowards. Alright, looks like we're going on the adventure route, route route. However you want to say that. Adventure chamber one of five. They even copied this in Pusher. That's mad. Alright, so introductions out of the way. And away we go. Uh oh, there's alligators in the water. Watch out, there's a trap. <laughs> That's quality. Like I said, I really don't remember a lot about this mod. It was very, one of the very first things I played um, in respect to Port Portal 2. So, I suppose it, you, you could kind of treat it like a blind playthrough. Yes! Yes! Legendary. You legend, Aaron. See, look, I told you it was worth it. I had such a, a fantastic reaction to playing Pusher the other day on my channel that, you know, it would be a complete and utter disaster 
if you didn't include it in the Destroyed Aperture's DLC. Just saying. So, um, what we're just doing a few of these like easier kind of chambers. Uh, real life stuff for a, a moment. Cancelled the end just doing the DLC. Yeah, I think that's probably the best. That's, that's probably the wise decision there. I, I wholeheartedly agree with your decision to do that. Um, so yeah, real talk for a moment. Um, not done did. Had a boo-boo yesterday and uh, not is done did. Not done did uh, hurt himself yesterday. Hey, hey oh. you pretty lady. Name's hey, Rick. Rick. So you out having yourself a little adventure? Oh yeah. I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure sphere. Designed for danger. Tell you what, you go ahead and do things your way. I'll do what I can to cover you. Cheers, Rick. You absolute legend. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, Nockdun did have him a little boo-boo yesterday. So while I was cleaning up after uh, one of my children, who left his ex-rocker gaming chair in the middle of his bedroom. Of course, I'm not mentioning any one of my ch children in particular, of course. Although, if you know me, you'll know that I only have one son. But that's beyond the point. Um, <laughs> he, he left his um, ex-rocker gaming chair on the floor. And as I went into his bedroom to tidy something up and just to shut the curtains and things in his bedroom, I totally misjudged where the gaming chair was. And I booted it with my foot at full force. And I honestly think I've, like, broken my toe. My toe is, like, a horrible, 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 horrible mix of black and purple today. And, oh boy, it it hurts. <laughs> it really hurts. I'm not kidding. Um, so, yeah, that's, um, that's all, all fun. Fun and games, but, yeah. Classic knock. Classic, classic knock. Alright, so where are we actually going here? Can we get across to there? Maybe? We can. This almost looks like a reskinned. It's going to come over to there. So where does that actually end up? So we can fling that across to us, right? Oh, let's go to that one. I. Is it just me though, or is that faith plate backwards? It's a faith plate backwards, isn't it? I fully expected the faith plate to go that way. No? Aaron, you don't know, right? Is that faith play backwards? Clearing your room once, taking the dishes to the kitchen at like 1am and I was going stealthily through the dark and eventually hit a cabinet and hung myself over. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I've, I've done that. I've done, not, not to that extent, jeez, but I've done things like that before where you're just trying to like not make noise at all and um, <laughs> sometimes purposely trying not to make a noise is the worst thing to do because you just there's nothing you can do and you make a noise yeah. 
I'll tell you, it's times like this I wish I had a waist so I could wear all my black belts. Yeah, you know, I'm a black belt. Pretty much everything. Karate, larate, jiu-jitsu, kick punches, belt making, taekwondo. Bedroom. Bedroom? <laughs> what? Alright, Rick. Bedroom. I bet your, uh, I bet your family was well impressed with you, Aaron. <laughs> oh, hello, Angel. Did you hear that? It's just exploded. Man, we are in a lot of danger. This is like Christmas. You know, it's better than Christmas. This should be its own holiday. Explosion day. Oh, Explosion Day. Now that sounds... That sounds like a great day, Rick. Who wouldn't like Explosion Day? Seriously. So we need to get the cube. And then we can use the light bridge to get over to here. Actually, we're going to want to use. How's that take down? You mess with the wrong woman! <laughs> oh, I, I, I love Rick's enthusiasm. Makes me want to go and listen to uh, more. Find him in the game and listen to more of his voice lines. It's so one thing I've never really done too much of is like listen to the voice lines of. Like the cores and things in Portal. All right, there we go. Happy explosion day, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, jeez. So he just blows the panel over, and then there's one there right there to replace it. I like that. Rick's Adventuring Department. Rick's Adventure Planning Room. Dangerous and adventurous testing initiative. Background. Aperture Test Chamber design designers are or were cowardly overprotective scientists. Goal. Provide Aperture with non-wimpy testing chambers. Methodology. Pits of hazardous waste, awe-inspiring jumps, bullets spitting turrets, piercing lasers. Explosions! Of course. Um, test chamber control by homicide or she robot. Generic wimpy contents. Common scissors. Local power connector. Who's going to cut the power? And then adventure chambers. Connected secret passage, adventure, and finale. Escape passage to the surface. Sounds good. Sounds reasonable. At least Rick doesn't want to kill us, right? Room of no important, no in particular importance. Okay. But I wanted to see what was in there, Rick. I'm gonna take a moment and just like look here. When I when I was like trying to when I was playing around with like BTS stuff before and like making a BTS area, I was trying to cram it in with so much detail. But it's like looking at this. There's not actually that much detail here, but they're using the fog really well to like mask everything, huh? Sorry, just me going off on a tangent. After the re the response of like doing some mapping streams, so it seems to have um, been quite pop. The, the the question of doing some mapping streams seems to have been quite popular between uh, amongst people. So we may be doing mapping streams 
at some point in the near future. Alright, so they're just on a timer. Try by that, done that, okay. Oh, there's a cube there. We should really do that first, I guess. That's a long ant line. Wouldn't it have been easier to root, root it the other way? Alright, so then what do we do? Yeah. Funnels it up. Boom. Okay. So then... We'll do something like this. Adventurer, I am Rick, Lord of Lasers. I challenge ye to align the laser and the reach and reach the exit door. Okay. Perfectly honest, Rick, Rick's getting a bit scary here. With his, um... Drawings on the wall, shall we say. But I mean, let's let's be honest here. Oh, wait a second. Actually, I take it back. So that needs to go here. Yeah, it's, I probably wouldn't have let things get this far, but you go ahead and do things your way. It's just a matter of swapping out these two cubes here. <laughs> What's going on, Smeltry? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. And there we go. Home and free. Good to hear, Iron Smeltry. Um, yeah, Mika. Um, Aaron was. Aaron loves the Walking Dead series. He was. He was there in all of my playthroughs. Please do not feed the crocodiles. I haven't seen the crocodiles. This laser can also be used as an adventurous glimbo stick. But yeah, I really kind of wish that like a Indiana Jones rig. Regardless of your performance, I've seen Girl Scouts do better. I think they're just some common um, words of encouragement there. But yeah, like I said on the uh, YouTube comments, though, there, there's still some of the Walking Dead games that I didn't get through. So... Um, it would be cool if I did find time to go back to them. Oh, we're on six. So I've got two more after this. This was. I thought this might take longer than it is. I guess not. Uh, yeah, I, th I played season two. Um, I think we was at like the. The pre-season three game when I stopped playing those. I 
think. Should we go in behind these turrets? Oh no, we get clever. I thought the turrets were up there, but they are up there. How wrong I was. However. I love Rick's enthusiasm, right? Yeah, we definitely played two. Um, I am just trying to think, though, what the... I'm trying to think of what happened. Hitting on me, Rick. You hang on me. So we do that, that, and then we need to go back through. Okay, so I need to go laser, laser. <laughs> We're all getting the same vibes. I'm Smeltry, don't worry. Also, I'm... Uh, Overcomplicating shock horror. Do that to there. Point this to the cube, not to the catcher. And then totally missed that one. There we go. Oh, You're the boss, the I'm the boss. I'm sure you are hitting on me. The adventure exits. I'll tell you what, like we're, we're tw like twenty minutes into this, we've got two. I think we've got two maps left. But this is this is this, this short map. This short like mod map pack has had more story than I think the majority of the mods we've played recently, which just goes to show how nice it actually is. Are we adventurous for the adventurous catapult? No, we're, we're, we're wimp. We're a wimp. We're going to go and uh, this way. Unless you use the adventure catapult, then you'd be adventurous enough. But what do I know? I'm just an adventure sphere. We're an adventure, cap an adventure cap catapult. Fine. The exit catapult. Which is the adventure catapult. <laughs> of course it is. Adventuring now. We are adventuring now. I'm glad I took that adventure catapult. Whee! Plop. 
adventures this way in the underground tunnels what could possibly go wrong we'll probably get hit by a load of neurotoxin in a minute Deep in the salt mines of Aperture. You came here to say something, but you forgot. You sound just like me. The Adventure Bridge! My memory is terrible, is what I mean. Iron Smeltery. No, I didn't mean anything else by that comment, just that, yeah. I I have a terrible short-term memory, as most of you know, and I say quite often. So when will I get to those numerous games that you've know, planned to play? Good question. <laughs> That's a very good question, Aaron. I honestly don't know. Um, I have so many games to play, but I've just had so many portal mods to play as well, so. Alright, so I do this maybe, I guess. Nothing over. Because, yeah, I do have loads of other games to play. Helpful Adventure Arrow. I was just about to say, I'll be honest, Rick, I don't think it's helpful, but it is helpful. Let's say, this is the... Apart from a co-op one, which I don't think I'm going to... I don't know whether I'll get around to playing or not. This is the last one on my initial list of Portal 2 mods. Uh, well, Portal mods, not just Portal 2, just Portal mods in general. Um, so, like I say, I have got a secondary list. Uh, a further list to kind of like look at and do some stuff from but I just I don't know I, I honestly I don't know Aaron uh, I haven't no because the only reason I say that is because uh, I didn't know whether or not I was going to actually look at anything now until release. That's where we're going over there. Adventure lies this way, Miari's. Arr. Yeah, I don't think I was planning on doing another sort of playthrough of DA now until it's released, but you never know. You know, I'm I'm always if you want me to do another playthrough for any particular reason or play anything in particular and get my thoughts on anything, I'm more than happy to do so. Of course. About to get real messy. Real
Rick is a dirty perv, confirmed. I should probably just do that. Man, that clock is moving fast. You are beautiful. Always time to come with that pretty lady. All right, back to work. Let's do this. Okay. All right. I am a cold spring right now. Watch the fish. Just not a muscle, you know, like a big arm muscle punching through a brick wall. Hitting that wall so hard, the arms catch on fire. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I like that. That's great that there is actually a mechanic here to stop you from failing. To stop you from dying. If only more maps and mod makers and things did things like that. Oh, I take it all back. Because he didn't stop me there. <laughs> oh, jeez. I am a cold spring right now. Tension and power. Just not a muscle, you know, like a big arm muscle. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly happy to play another game. If you guys want me to play something else, then I am more than happy to do so. I guess I meant to do this instead. Um... Like I say, this this is the last this is pretty much the last one on my on my main list, so um maybe it would be good to, to have a bit of a break and do something uh oh he's reconnecting the ladders. Power up complete. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Hello this ain't going to work, is it? No. <laughs> that was obvious. Oops. Rick was working in Gahoots with Gladys all this time. I should really take a look through the, um, the uh, itch.io games as well. Look who's back. Were you scared to continue those tests? Well, the important thing is you're back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. That was cool though. That was cool. Like I say, um, for the length of it, like half an hour, it's certainly a lot better than some of the mods we've played and spent like two, three, four hours or more on. So yeah, fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff indeed. Um, I don't really remember anything from that from when I originally played it, which is also another um, positive and a, another good thing about um, replaying stuff. Um, but yeah, there we go. That is Design for Danger. Thank you very much, everybody on YouTube, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Let me know what you thought of the mod down below. And until the next mod, thank you very much, and uh, goodbye.